Hey, I hope that you're having a lovely Tuesday. And, um, you know, we're going to go a bit deep today because I've actually had quite a lot of people reaching out to me since I started the 14 day challenge. So, first of all, I wanted to say thank you. Um, thank you for trusting me. Um, thank you for gifting yourself freedom uh, by speaking out. Um, and, you know, when I finally began that deep work on myself last year, I discovered that my number one value in life was, in fact, freedom. And I also discovered that absolutely everything in my life was actually the opposite of freedom. I was sort of trapped and controlling everything. And the feeling of anxiety was not only myself, I guess, being out of alignment with that, that core value, with that, that authenticity, but also because of an experience I'd had 14 years ago, I'd created this safe bubble of a life and my anxiety was doing a, a very good job of keeping myself safe within it. So I read a quote the other day that said, um, you will face your greatest opposition when you're closest to your biggest miracle. Um, and you know, it really spoke to me because I coached with my mentor for 11 months before I actually opened up and shared my deepest, darkest confession, I guess. 11 months I spent peeling back every single other onion layer and I took big transitions forward, but it took me 11 months to actually speak out about what was deep inside and, and why I was putting my life on hold. So I want to ask the question, is there something that sits, oh hey Barbara, how are you? Um, is there something that sits heavy in your heart? Do you have your own deepest, darkest confession? And I don't mean that in the sense like you've murdered somebody and you're keeping it to yourself. <laughs> you know, I mean it's something that you don't feel like you can speak to somebody about, but you might not even be able to verbalize it, or you might kind of not exactly have a true full idea of what it of what it is but you know there's something and, and it's sitting there deep inside and it's holding you back in your life and I want you to ask yourself the question how your life would be different if you faced this issue you know what if you spoke it out what if you spent time discovering it and its impact on you or moreover, the impact that you would actually have on the world if you were to, to actually identify that this thing happened and you know make an impact be exactly because it happened to you, if that, if that makes any sense. And I guess time is so valuable. That's the biggest lesson I'm learning from having friends right now going through Sorry, that's my, that's my dishwasher that you can hear. I'm not gurgling or farting on the live. Um, yeah, no, that I guess that's the, the biggest thing that I'm learning from this experience with my friend, with my sister-in-law, doing these burpees. It's that time is so valuable. And I mentioned last year, at, at 36 years old, that my, my deepest, most important value in life, my number one value in life, was freedom and that everything in my life was not about freedom you know I wasn't living true to that core value and co coaching was actually the thing that um, helped me discover myself in a, a supported gentle confidential way and in this way um, I guess I, I, I understood that those past experiences had created beliefs that were limiting me. And in stripping those beliefs away, I was able to walk forward a completely different person, taking actions that I never ever believed were possible for me. You know, this is, I guess, what I was trying to do with the burpees, was to say to people, you know, what happens when you, when you change your mindset about something? You know, a handful of weeks ago, I did not believe I could do more than 50 burpees. I struggled to do 20 burpees. On Friday night, I did 300 burpees. You know, <laughs> I did 300 burpees and, and on Sunday, I'm going to go and I'm going to do 500 burpees. So 
you know, I guess I now have freedom in all areas of my life that are important to me. I have freedom to spend time with the most incredible gifts that I've ever been given and that's my girls. I have a schedule that belongs to me. I have more financial freedom and I guess more fun, freedom to have more fun and enjoyment in my life and more than anything else, a freedom to serve because that final piece of my of my self discovery has been my connection to my purpose and the ability to embody that purpose in everything I do and you know have the freedom and feel the release of almost everything that was holding me back and this has completely changed my vibration so if you understand or follow or, or want to understand the law of attraction it's changing our vibration that actually opens us up to manifestation and manifesting more abundance into our life. And, and I have, you know, my vibration has increased, has risen, and so has the success in my life. So, yeah, I guess my past experience, that, that thing that once broke me, is now a gift and it's the reason that I'm writing a book it is the reason I finally got my my coaching business off the ground and it's the reason I connected with an opportunity that's that's changing people's lives so what I want you to ask yourself is what if your story your darkest your deepest darkest confession the thing that actually right now probably brings you despair what if that's the thing that will bring people hope? So I hope that question helps you in some way and I hope you enjoy, this is a fly buzzing around now. I've got the Simpsons on in the background so that the children are quiet while they do this live, bless them. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope that question was helpful and I hope that you have a lovely Tuesday afternoon and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Oh, I'll give Barbara away. <laughs> bye.